clout is genuinely a sickness. Like clout will make people do some of the worst things possible. This younger generation, I don't want to sound like a boomer, but they have this clout sickness, this clout disease where they just need to do stuff for the thrill of it and for the clicks and the likes. They need to film themselves doing every stupid act they can do. And it's honestly pathetic. I don't even know how to like open a video like this because it's it's not a fun video to make. Like I would I would love to sit here and make fun videos for you guys every day because I enjoy making them. But I feel like as an influencer, part of my responsibility is to try to, I don't want to say make a change, but I like we got to do better than this. We, we have to do better than this. What I'm going to show you guys in a second is just like some of the most tragic and just idiotic all at the same time. And like, I know this isn't like car related. It's it involves a car. So I want to talk about it because just as a, as as a whole, I hope we can just do better than this. But we're, we're talking about Andreas Probst. I'm probably mispronouncing that. I'm super sorry. Lost his life because of a couple clout chasing demons that just I, I like it just makes me so angry that there's such low lives out there to where this is how they spend their days. It like just no care for anybody else in the world. They think it's freaking GTA in real life. Just ridiculous. Just an intentional hit and run that happened very recently in Las Vegas. A uh, 64-year-old ex-police chief um, was hit and run on purpose as a couple teenagers filmed themselves i'm going to play this tiktok that kind of just shows their behavior beforehand if you guys want to watch this girl's tiktok go for it um i will link it down below but i'm just going to play the beginning just so you guys can kind of get like the the kind of people that there are in this world that are just like like these are kids and they're just like we'll, we'll talk about them in a second just just watch this video really quick give credit to this girl 100 percent So, yeah, the video the video ends there. She ends it, thank God. Um, at least there's some, you know, humanity in the world because I'm sure it'll just pop up on my For You page. There's sick people like that, but it looks like they stole a Hyundai. These people, these are 17-year-old kids. At least um, the driver, I believe, is a 17-year-old kid. Stole the car, pretty much played GTA in real life, and um, were linked to a bunch of thefts or something throughout the day. But then post, like, like posted the video or they have somehow this video is, is on the internet of them doing this like how how low and sick of a person do you have to be to where like your enjoyment your your activity throughout the day is just potentially harming or like killing an innocent person like again i i much i would much rather because this isn't an, an easy video to make because like this this kind of is this isn't the stuff i want to see this isn't the stuff that I'm sure you guys want to see, but I feel like I have to use my platform to just let people know the very obvious shit that this stuff isn't cool, obviously. And no matter how cool or funny you think it's going to be, oh, we didn't know it was going to kill him. We didn't know we, we weren't trying to kill anybody. We just rammed them with our car. We weren't, we weren't trying to just kill the old man. We were just trying to ram him with our multi-ton vehicle our, our our gigantic piece of metal speeding through the street we weren't trying to kill him like i feel like it should be obvious that you shouldn't do this but then again there's kids doing this there there's kids out here stealing cars there's kids out here committing crimes like this multiple thefts throughout the day not only did they steal the vehicle but then going and intentionally hitting somebody's dad somebody's husband like it's uh, imagine it was your own people imagine somebody did that to your mom to your dad and the problem is these people probably don't have that family they probably don't have that 
like solid foundation. They probably definitely weren't raised right. But just think for a second that it was something that you cared about deeply. Like, I I literally, I, I'm not going to lie. I lose sleep every night of the thought of somebody in my family getting hurt. Like, like just like small things. You, you never think about this kind of stuff. But I'm going to open up to you guys for a second. I lose sleep every night because my mind races. Like, I'm, I'm an insomniac. I think that's the word. And I just, like, worry. Like, my brother, he works very late at night. He's driving home at 3, 4 in the morning sometimes from his music studio. And I worry. I'm like, dude, at that time, there's idiots on the road. Th this could be the last day that I see him or anyone, you know? Same with my girlfriend. Just driving home from work. Driving to work. There's idiots out there. And whether it's idiots doing stuff like this or just idiots drinking and driving, there's idiots out there. And just something as innocent as riding your bike can be the last thing you do. And that's just like super tragic. Like, like we can do better than this. I'm pretty sure none of the people watching this video are dumb enough to do stupid things like this. But now this 17 year old is facing murder charges for killing Andreas Probst, I cannot pronounce that. I'm very sorry. But all Andreas was doing was minding his own business, either just out on a ride or going home, just minding his own business. And his life was taken for Instagram clout, for TikTok clout, for a, a video, a senseless video. And now he ruined this whole family, plus his own, if he has one, because now he's going to spend a lot of time in jail. Andreas didn't deserve this, obviously. Nobody deserves this. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Like, it's just a horrible thing. And the fact that they're laughing about it too in the video is just disgusting. Again, not a fun video to make, but like the way that shit's going right now, maybe we need to stop and just take a look at how unexpected and how short, I guess, life can be. Like, this could be you walking home. This could be you riding your bike, riding your skateboard. Some kid can just come in and cut that shit short. So listen, guys, I mean, just for everyone's sake, when you're out driving, I know you guys aren't stupid, but let's just keep our eyes peeled for people. Let's not drive like idiots. I know I'm not a saint. I definitely go out there and have some fun sometimes. I haven't been doing it recently. If you guys haven't noticed, I don't really race too much anymore. And I never race on streets. Never, ever, ever will I race where pedestrians can be, where multiple cars can be, where animals can be. I do not race on streets. If I'm racing, if I'm racing the once in a blue moon, I'm on the freeway in Mexico in the middle of the night. And I make sure that there's nobody around. I have very strict parameters now that I will not cross. So as a whole, let's just make sure that we're better. We're not scum. And let's just look out for everyone out there. Even though you don't know them, they're somebody's mother, father, brother, son, daughter. You get what I'm saying. It's not a fun video to make. It's really not. Um, I hope they throw the book at this scum i hope they lock him up try him as an adult make sure it's maximum sentencing because he's had he thinks he's having a blast in the video and i hope he continues having a blast in prison i hope i hope he continues having the time of his life locked up for hopefully the rest of his i know that the justice system doesn't work like that but i hope i hope i hope they do not go light on his sentencing. We're better than this. R.I.P. Andreas. My thoughts and prayers go out to the family and everyone involved. And again, it's even tragic for the moron that did it because he just destroyed his own family. He's not going to spend Thanksgiving. He's not going to spend Christmas. He's not going to spend his birthday or his mom's birthdays with them at all. He ruined his own life and he ruined a whole lot of other people's lives. That's all I got for you for today. Um, I just wanted to talk about this because I don't know if it was clout driven. I don't know if it was just a selfish act or they, they're they just dumb. But we're better than this. And let's be better. Anyways, until next video, peace.